Oh my goodness, everybody. It's Ray. It's life and vibe. This is day three, kind of technically into day four, I guess, of the Tim challenge, the Sarasota Tim challenge, where I watch and comment to all of his uh, videos that he puts out. And just as I was getting ready to wrap up my night and head to bed, Tim decided <laughs> just a few minutes ago to pop out a video of 17 minutes long of him shopping in a Walmart because we needed six videos today from Tim. <laughs> so this is now video 14 of the series and we're in a Walmart. So let me just throw out my disclaimers real fast. I know I got to put them out guys just, just cause we don't want Tim suddenly coming after me. So obviously this is fair use. This is going to be transformative material and disclaimer. This is just my opinion. Even though I am a registered nurse here in the United States and trained to be a nurse practitioner, I do not treat or diagnose anybody in these videos. Goodness me, I cannot believe he has got to make up, I guess, for the time that he lost with Timmy. All right, let's just make this quick. I'm speeding him up to 1.25 because, you know, I can't do normal speed of Tim in the Walmart. The nicest Walmart I've ever been in my life. Been to in my life? I've ever been in my life. Mm, he's just, the titles are just catching. I mean, he doesn't bother with thumbnails, titles, SEO scores, anything. <laughs> he just rolls it out. Let's just watch. He's just going to video, literally. This is like me going to the Kroger and just videoing the Kroger. I mean, really? It looks like, oh my gosh. Okay, go. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you from Walmart. Here in, these small. Sorry. where am I? Kingman, Arizona. Have you ever seen things more organized? Look at these clothes hanging. And look at that folding job. Look at this place. Oh, my gosh. Go to Boynton Beach and check out a Walmart. Oh, my Lord. Look at this. Everything in the right size categories. There's not one pair of pants out of unfolded. Look at these racks. I don't know. The Walmart in Virginia Beach where my neighbor works doesn't look too dissimilar. I mean, it looks like they've, they're nice and stocked. Who knows what time of the night you're going there, Tim? It's so late. This is truly amazing. <sighs> this is what you get on the um, west coast of the country. Mm -mm. Man, how nice. Ooh. I'm sure some people out in California have got some things to say about some Walmarts. <laughs> but it looks very nice, Tim. But, you know, we don't want our golf clothes from the Walmart. No. I mean, are you trying to go and show us that umbrella that you're after? Oh, my God. Am I going to have to get the dry bag out soon? Oh. Ooh, I see some nice golf shirts up here with mm. something across the chest. I like when they have across the chest. Oops. Mm -mm. Oh, really? Okay. Really? I cannot believe you're doing this to me already. <laughs> I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Mm, Tim, you're already getting me out on the dry bag. All right. <laughs> Keep going. Look right here. I like that style. Even though it's red, I might get these are Georgias. Is a large big enough for me? Or do I need the extra large? That looks big enough. Oh, you just it's a nice looking shirt. I think I'll get that. I thought he just bought clothes. For a man who claims in his description that he's a minimalist, I mean, not that they don't purchase nice things, but he is just buying frenzy over here. I can't remember the last time I bought a new piece of clothing. Certainly not been this many that he's bought. Oh, my goodness. Well, see, this is what happens when you have things like mortgages, Tim. And then this color here is nice. Oops, sorry. You'll be uh, right like this. Look, yeah, look at my size. Helps. It's a handsome shirt right there. Paid a hundred bucks for those uh, uh, something Matthews, whatever they are, at the golf store. You didn't pay a hundred bucks. Your your audience who sent you that buy me a coffee sent you the money for that. In fact, the gentleman said if it wasn't enough to let him know, he'd send you more. Now you're out getting some more stuff. Can you just do laundry? You really are something else, Tim. These are got stretch in them. Oh, yeah, these are nice. I'm getting them. <laughs> what do you got here? I'm looking for some golf pants, golf shorts. Oh, I didn't see this gray one and a blue one. 
Oh, yeah, I'll get one of these. And I'll get one of these. Where is it? One this. Tim just getting to buy four shirts like this. I'm, I'm sure he was not living this large prior to 2020. <laughs> when he was just making a... Mm. I need to check that buy me a coffee again. See what's going on. Left. My lucky day. Look how handsome that is. Mm. How much oh, that yeah. Be? Four new shirts. I'll take a look at that. That is handsome. Well, is it large? My sound to try one on to find out. <sighs> No, why don't you do that before you what just do they buy four for, or something, um, Tim? Uh, Sorry, golf. I don't mean to talk over Tim. It's very rude of me. Why don't you do that before you just buy four or something, Tim? Make sure it fits first, especially since you're at a Walmart in a place where your RV camp park is not. Shorts. What are these? These are George's. Stretchy. Nice. Too hot, though. Too hot. Oh, here you go. These are nice. Look at that little tag on the bottom. Well, that's it. Paper tag. Oh, yeah. Price tag. My back hurts, but what a round of golf at that place. My gosh, 35 minutes from uh, my camper. I'm just going to probably stay where I'm at and grin and bear it and uh, pay the 220 a week and have all that, the pool and everything right there. And then when uh, Miss T flies into Vegas at the end of the month, we'll go uh, to Cedar uh, Senior City or St. George or wherever, wherever the Lord takes us but man look at these shirts let me try these on yeah i went and tried everything on and everything well tim if you want to get that 500 600 700 thousand dollar house you need to start saving up some of these pennies sweetheart you can't just blow your money on you know, four shirts at walmart <laughs> oh my goodness oh and i'm struggling to get through grad school for another year why why when i could have just been doing what tim did why all this schooling and education? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm rethinking my life as I watched him wander around the Walmart. <sighs> it fits perfectly. And this has got to be the very nicest Walmart I've ever been in. I'm heading over to the RV section to get some uh, black, black tank sewer pellets. And I need some other stuff mm. uh, before I go over to the food area. And I love this Walmart. <laughs> really is nice. Look at, I mean, look, everything is full, pulled forward. Level, even. Very nice. Look at all this stuff. If they ain't got it, you don't need it. Check out what I got. <laughs> These go down your uh, toilet for your black tank. Oh, God. Back out for you guys. This. Well, we've already heard some stories about how you dispose of your gray water. So, oh, what's this? Oh, God. What if he buying now? Oh, he's on a buying frenzy. Goes on my beautiful iPhone 15 Pro Max. Uh, I've got a little bubble in it, and I think I cracked the screen on it, but it's just a protector. And these bitchin' clothes right here are going to make me look smart. Very smart. I, I just cannot all... believe how many things of golf clothes he's buying. This is insanity to me. I'm sorry. I I don't think my friend who's even a dentist would be buying like this. Uh, this, you know, he just bought all of those expensive I mean, I guess he can't wash and wear every other day. I mean, for Tim, it's going to be a new outfit for each day of the week. This is incredible. I mean, it's incredible. I'm I'm just, you know, blown away because I don't shop like this and I'm a female. I don't, think I, the color. I don't think I've ever bought full shirts and, you know, different colors of the same style and said, yeah, I've never done that in my life. I would feel just like I was throwing all caution to the wind and just spending money madly. <laughs> I got, come on. I'm a brand new golfer. Look at those. If Walmart ain't got it, I don't need it. Now I need to get some pine saw to mop my floor, and I want to get some sponges for my sink, and I'm thinking about getting a cowboy steak. Let's go see what they got. <laughs> I sold one of these at my yard sale in Jacksonville. Remember that thing I had? I'm still astounded that this thing has as many views as it does at this hour already at the night. Considering this, I mean, God bless him, his subscribers. And two of them. <laughs> oh, man, this is a nice Walmart. I'm not kidding you. Look, $87 for a TV. You're giving them away. That was a good price for the TV, I will say. Hey, I want to thank everybody for the comments uh, and the search that you did for me on those houses. I gave a couple of addresses, and uh, I just had a great time today. 
I know I keep oh. saying it, but man, that golf course was so fun. It was just so great to. Yeah, and you were kind of pretending that you lived there, probably in your mind. After two days of feeling, you know, the weather all of a sudden really sore up the heat in Laughlin to come 30 minutes away to 3,500 foot altitude. And it was 98 degrees and felt like, I mean, 80. It was just amazing. Uh, I could never deal with the humidity in Florida again. I'll bet if I went down there right now, it would slap me in the face so fast, I'd make a U-turn and just leave. I just and I think you need to lose the minimalism stick as well because the way you're shopping and the way you uh, covet stuff, you are not a minimalist, Tim. You like stuff and a lot of stuff. Anybody who needs like 10 golf outfits and three cowboy hats is not a minimalist. Just couldn't even take it, I'm sure. Uh, I love Florida. Believe me, the green, the sod, the palm trees, the beaches. And I will go back. And if Miss T's got to be there for her babies, well, you know, we're going to have to do what Miss T wants to do. Uh, and that's just it. But I'm looking mm -hmm. at these Gatorades here. I know I need more. Where they at? I want the zeros. Where they at? Just buy the powder. Oh, man. But I'm telling you, I... Just buy the powder and add it to water. <laughs> Goodness me. Such waste. Yeah, and Miss T can do whatever she wants. She's a grown adult with her own money. Guess what? She can do what she wants. If she wants, I would say, stay by your grandchildren, Miss T. This man is just a grifter waiting to get hold of that money. I can't believe you can't find a better toy boy down in Florida, girl. I wish she would like it out here. It's just so nice out west. All right, we're going to uh, go right down this aisle here. <laughs> How you doing, my friend? Here we go. Hey, look, here's some frost. I like the zeros right here. I'll, I'll get these. Uh -oh. That's what I want. Hang them on the side. Do your thing. There you go. Mm. Waste Man, why would my phone just shut off all of a sudden? Oh, uh, should I get more water? I think I have some. I think I have some. Um, Let's see. Let's just go. I probably could use some more coffee creamer, even though I have some. Coming through, coming through. I got cheese. <laughs> I threw away my bread. I wonder if I it no feels as silly as I felt. Try not to eat carbs, man. I mean, I went bad. A lot of you guys know it too. I mean, I cannot believe he is just happily talking away because he's like, oh, good. I'll put out this video of me at the Walmart. I'll get 5,000 views of me talking about crushing it for Walmart. And uh, lo and behold, I've got all this money to go buy five golf outfits. It's a circle of life on the YouTube channel. Told me about the pizza, then the buffet, and then the. Um, yeah, you didn't tell you about the Burger King. I, I was so hungry just uh, before I went golf. I had to get a sandwich. I couldn't find anything to eat. And Poor folks probably coming out their prison jobs, Tim, and uh, just trying to get their groceries done for the night. You know, Tim is just talking to himself at the Walmart, like I'm talking to myself on this. <laughs> places to eat. I didn't know my way around. Please I'm on the big exit years. right now. Please, I'm please, Tim, in, here in Kingman. And I love this town now. I find uh, that I was wrong about, you know, what I thought it was because I was on the bad side of town, I guess. I'm in the good side now. He came up through the, the originally through the truck stop area. I mean, can you please stop it? You have said enough trash about this town that anybody who's from Kingman probably does not like you now. I don't buy the small ones anymore. I get tired of buying them and running out quickly, so I just get these. And let's I'll see. Save, okay. I haven't made bacon and eggs in a while. Mm. I still got vegetables. I need more chick, 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 chicken because I need to go back on my diet and make my stir fry. I mentioned I was going to make a cowboy steak. I could do that. Mm. I also need bread oh, and crackers. Well, I haven't heard you coughing today, which makes me think that maybe you're not getting heart heart problems, but mm, maybe less of the steak, more of the chicken. Come in here with three things I need. I'll still need the pine salt, and I need sponges. Don't let me forget. In fact, let's go get them right now. They're down here. Here's all of your uh, kitchen toiletry things. I think the Walmarts here have a similar floor plan uh, as the ones I've been in. There's a formula behind it. People just trying to do their shopping. Right, here we go. Uh -oh. Traffic jam. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Tim didn't say sorry, but he right. did. Zajax. He's rude. What a pine saw. You guys ever use pine saw? Personal. Fabuloso and all that other stuff. Whew, say it's somewhere near. My back's killing me. I need to take some Advil. There it is. Uh, Tim, I promise you, you need to stop living on the Advil. <laughs> I 
it's you can't overdo it but uh there is some cognitive behaviors that you can do for pain i've understood um some mind body type things for some types of back pains you know oh my goodness this is our content we get to see tim buying cleaning products oh my goodness there it is <laughs> And I'm delirious now. Who wins? 428? That's not cheap. Oh man. Everything's inflation now. 394. What's this? Two times Mr. Clean. Uh, is that for floors? Um, I want floor cleaning. There we go. Mm. Put on some readers, Baker, so you can see. Jeez. I love pine salt. Smells good. Mm. Is that say specifically for floors? Uh, concentrated formula. Lemon. This looks like a dollar. Come on. <laughs> what do I got for floors? What is this? Mr. Clean Multi Surface <laughs> Cleaner. Well, that could be nice. I cannot with Tim. I mean, I can understand frugality, okay? But you're looking at the prices. There is no dollar uh, floor cleaner. It's three ninety four. dollars It looks like the best price you're going to find there. And you're somebody who has ten dollars alone and just hate coffee purchases, Tim. <laughs> Today, so <laughs> don't know why you're complaining about the price of it. I understand. I'm having to watch every penny. I've not been able to work for an extended period of time. I'm trying to get back to work, and then I'm back on antibiotics. It's been a nightmare. I get it. I understand. I've been living off of my savings, which I have run out of pretty much, and I need to get back to work. I get it. I understand trying to save a penny. I get it. <sighs> but this is just silliness, okay? They're all the same price. Look for the store brand right down here at the bottom. But he wants the, the name brand stuff. You don't want to go for the Equate. I go for the store brand. See how much they cost. Something right down the, uh, below, you get a whole surface jug of the floor of it. and it's the surface nothing. of the counters, right? Two times concentrated. It's four dollars, and this is four twenty-eight. Oh, this is Mr. Clean. It's not even pine salt. Oh, pine salt. Yeah, it's so expensive. Cleans five times better. That's why. Two times concentrate. Well, you know, one thing I got: plenty of money. Now, where's them sponges at? Oh. Oh, Tim's got plenty of money. You hear that, everybody? He got plenty of money. He didn't worry about the price of the golf shore. Bought four of those. Comes to a cleaning product. We're going to pinch the pennies. There. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. I've got this. <laughs> Sponge. Don't be nasty. Oh, frustrating. Here they are. These are the kinds I like right here. These are the kinds. All right, who wins? 328, 388, 332, 97 cents. Mm, this is... That work? So, you know, when it feels, Tim feels like it's his money, he gets real cheap. When it's other people's money, he gets real generous. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It says a lot about your character. Like I said, I'm very frugal. Too. I, you know, I need to be. I want to, you know. Oh my goodness. I think I've explained. <laughs> right. Anyway, it's killing me. Let me look at my phone now. Cheapskate here. Buy four right, shorts and three pairs of shorts. And the chips and the carbs and the dangerous stuff. Hope I can resist it. I just want to get some crackers. I might want to get some more of that. Um, these right here. Um, these name brand again. Let us see. Get all some name brand stuff. I'm go check that out. Well, I don't know if I need bread or not. I'm to be a good it's all the, he, he doesn't buy any store brands. I guess that's below Tim. I mean, I'm the queen of a store brand. <laughs> don't get me wrong. <laughs> good boy. Uh oh, can't get out. Here. <gasps> all right, check it out. I was just on the uh, coffee aisle over here. I'm going to be looking for those espresso beans. Somebody said they got those espresso. I thought you said you stopped drinking, Tim. Why have you got a whole big thing of beer there? I'm sorry. I mean, is it just liquor you stopped drinking? Because beer is still alcohol. And uh, have enough of them and you'll be pretty stonking drunk. So why have you got all that beer in your court? I thought you were no longer drinking. 
That says to me that you've got a pretty distinct habit if you buy a case of beer that big. Hmm. I don't think somebody's sober anymore. And no, beer does not count that you're not drinking. Beer is an alcohol, Tim. You know that. Espresso beans here, uh, like that human bean has. So I heard this couple talking. I just met here in Walmart. And they were talking about wanting to get some really strong coffee. Look at this. Black Rifle Coffee Company, high caffeine, waking the neighbors. Now, you know I got to try this. I bet this is the best cup of coffee I ever had in my life. I'm going to get it. Now, let's go see if we can find those uh, espresso beans. And see if that subscriber said. What about that bush light in your, your cult? All right, we got a bingo. The nice lady just told me aisle A2. And it's not on the coffee aisle. So, what happened to the sobriety? The not drinking anymore? Because there's a big old crate of beer in there, Tim. <laughs> Looks like somebody's going to be sitting back and, and, and uh, coming pretty heroic in their drinking tonight. So here we go. Let's see if we can get them. I'll be putting them uh, on the side when I have my coffee in the morning. And no more human being. A2. Oh, I can't wait to see it. A2. It's a candy aisle. Well, then how are you going to pay it forward for people with coffees if you're not going to coffee places? Isn't that the whole reason why you got the buy me a coffee? <laughs> so you could be shown paying it forward, though we've never actually seen a paying it forward receipt. Isn't that the whole idea? So I, I feel like the original Tim who came out talking about not drinking, being a minimalist and all this stuff, it's not what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a guy who's cheap with certain things at the store, has to get the name brands though, bought four different golf outfits, he's got a case of beer in his, his uh, shopping cart and uh, is full of lies. Allegedly. Dr. Espresso bean. Let's see if we can find it. A2. Let's go. Oh, he's got to get the espresso beans Ooh, espresso now. Bean. I'm not seeing it yet. Bunch of candy. Mm. Got to get here. a little espresso bean so he feels like he's getting his little morning oh, coffee yeah, thing close, going. I can tell. We're getting close. <laughs> we are close. Oh, let's see here. Um... <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh my goodness. You would think it'd be in this area. Really? Right here. Who's <laughs> just staring at candy now? Oh. Yeah, not near us. Candy. Yes. There they are. Oh. Look at this, folks. Oh. Coffee beans. Oh, he's going to complain. Three flavors. Dark chocolate. That's not it. So all you have is right here. That's a lot of coffee beans. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. I don't need that many, do I? Wow. So I want dark chocolate or three flavors, medium, gourmet, roasted. That's the kind they look like they have it. Um, human bean. Premium, gourmet. Oh, my. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and vanilla coated. That's what I want. I don't want all chocolate. Man, that's the smallest they got. Eight dollars for some delicious coffee beans. I'll be popping these babies, and um, along with the, that high octane the bush coffee, oh boy. natty light. Oh boy, I'm gonna be all hot up. <laughs> so uh, I think it's about time to check out. I got some uh, Bush non-alcoholic beer. I'm gonna try out. Oh, it's non-alcoholic. Okay. Uh, I was what a like, store. What a okay, store. They, hey, so, they got a deli okay, here. So he's obviously okay. He said it's not alcoholic. I didn't know with the NA. I'm sorry. I was like, I thought he didn't drink anymore. Uh, I guess he still likes the flavor of beer. I never knew if anyone actually liked the flavor of beer. I thought they just like getting drunk, especially yellow beer, you know, as I call it. I like a sour beer. Don't get me wrong. I can't have any alcohol, though. Not with all the antibiotics I'm on. This operative, and I could get my turkey for that bread. I got some uh, Killer Dave's. I could get some of that turkey. What do you call it? Tomato. Um, you know, half an hour ride back. Just plug in my refrigerator in the back of my truck. Probably take a half hour to cool down. Let me see if they get some of that turkey um, tomato basil, tomato roasted, a roasted tomato or something like that. Let's see if they got it. Well, I got everything I needed at Walmart and then some. And I just checked the weather. It felt warm when I came out of there because I was in air conditioning, and within a minute. I was already like, well, it ain't so bad. No, it's really not. I can play golf right now. Mm. I checked the temperature. It said 98. 
So uh, for giggles, I said, this line. then at the next one, turn right. So for giggles, I said to my iPhone, what's the temperature in Laughlin? 106. It's eight degrees warmer. And that's the difference. You think 10 degrees don't make a difference? Tim and his iPhone, got his iPhone. He's talking to the iPhone. I mean, he is just balling. He's never balled as much as he's balling now with this YouTube money. <laughs> Before he was just happy, you know, making a couple hundred a day, shilling the coupons. And I apologize if I did not realize it was non-alcoholic beer that he is now drinking. That seems like a slippery slope. When I lived in Sarasota, and it would be 10 degrees, 8 degrees cooler than West Palm Beach, uh, depending on the temperature, like from 98 to 106 is huge. So, Ben, good for right, Kingman. Use the right lane to merge onto US 93 North. That's why it's really uh, booming here. I was talking to the lady in uh, Walmart, the deli. She was so nice. She said, yeah, it's booming here. It's booming everywhere, folks. I've been noticing it. I mean, all of these places you wouldn't think. Warriors these used to be little sleepy towns. No real and you can tell by when I went through some of the area earlier. That's been it always worries me, these large uh, cities that are using up, you know, Obviously, they need a lot of water to maintain these, and these are not areas naturally with a lot of water. So it's interesting, and uh, I know there's difficulties, and I certainly would not want to be in that type of area. Just the cost of the water must be astronomical. And, and, electricity. and you know what this is? It's the lady told me at Walmart, the heart of Route 66. From here, you can go to Phoenix, uh, L.A., um, Grand Canyon, you know, Utah, all these places you can go. This is the heart of Route 66. Did you watch my video, Tim? Because I talked about it being the heart of Route 66. And the, the fact that you did not seem to know that, and yet I have done more research than you had. Are you watching my videos, Tim? I don't mind the views. I'll take the AdSense all day long. <laughs> I hear you. Kingman, Arizona. This place crushes it. <sighs> All right, let me stop sharing. Oh my goodness. So we don't we do love a cute dog video. I'll tell you that much. Oh my goodness, my hair is wild. I think I god, I hope that's the last thing from Tim today. God. I cannot believe he did a 17 minute Walmart video. My hair is like showing it too. Oh, so I learned that he drinks non-alcoholic beer, so that's good. Um, he's cheap with cleaning products. I, hey, I'm a frugal girl too. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't get him for that. Um, he doesn't mind buying four golf outfits though, or $8 coffee beans. And he got some coffee or something. Oh, goodness me. I mean, I just don't think that if I put my life, like I did one crushing it for coffee and I've barely gotten... <laughs> 2,000 views on that thing. <laughs> oh, I obviously just don't have Tim's personality. All right, guys. Oh, you can tell I'm tired. Okay. Let me just say um, one last thing from uh, uh, Judge Matt. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? No, no. Yep, yeah, and uh, my coffee, uh, buy me a coffee, is down in the uh, description box if you want to buy me a coffee, and I'm just going to straight out beg for it. Why not? All right, Tim, <laughs> if you did like this type of content, subscribe. Hit the subscribes. Become a member. Join the fun. I think I might have hit 3,000 subs, or maybe it's 30. Who bloody knows? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I did always want to thank the people that have bothered and taken the time to be members to my channel and are trying to figure out who's Tim. Why do I keep talking about Tim? All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one tomorrow. Take care. See you probably very soon. Um, I've got some errands in the morning, so it might be another late night for me. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Bye.